Hello. Well, I uh, wanted to come here today just to briefly talk about um, something that's um, <clears throat> caught my attention in the last few days, which was, uh, uh, would there be a 50% off sale for Criterion movies at Barnes & Noble? Now, here in the United States, like every July and November, there is always a 50% off sale on every Criterion movie that is in Barnes & Noble uh, in their stores or uh, on the website. Though because of, you know, the lockdown and everything, um, people are speculating there will not be one at all in any capacity. Um, some sites, uh, shortages, though I don't know where that's coming from. Uh, I, I, I really don't. Um, I really haven't thought much about it. Then again, there's other stuff going on, in my, <laughs> you know, in my life and stuff that, you know, uh, this sale really wasn't on my radar until I heard that there could be one or might not be one because, you know, next month is July and July is in America when the uh, the first sale of the year 50% off sale for Criterion movies at Barnes & Noble takes place so you know I, I I really didn't think much about it um, so but then that got me thinking and I looked up stuff um, yesterday as well as just before doing this video about it, seeing if there could be any uh, word. I've uh, seen uh, absolutely nothing so far. Um, I also get uh, emails from uh, Criterion, uh, the Criterion Collection website, so, uh, you know, I usually get notified any sort of sale or whatever uh, happens. Um, Including Barnes and Noble, I really, I you know, I last few years I remember um, any time there is a uh, sale going on at Barnes and Noble, I've actually uh, I have gotten emails about it, letting me know that you know next month uh, you can get Criterion films for fifty percent off and. You know, there are some new uh, releases that are that I've kind of looked at and been interested in getting. Um, new releases, that, as well as some that they've had for quite some time I've wanted to get, but, you know, in sales or whatever, just being able to get any, just haven't gotten any of those movies I've wanted for a while. But, um... Yeah, I, I don't know whether uh, there will be or not. Again, with the shortage, people are saying stuff with a shortage, and I guess that comes to where uh, because um, you know because of the lockdown, things stopped, and people quit making like DVDs and Blu-rays. That I guess there will be a complete shortage of movies uh, for releases. Uh, I know during all of this there were. Uh, films, or Blu-rays and DVDs that were produced and sent out that, that you could buy um, uh, during all of this, um, but since things have opened up uh, in various places around the country, you know, who knows if there will be or not a sale. I think there should be, at the ver and I think at the very least there should be the sale on the website, uh, because I, 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 I'm sure those who go to Barnes & Noble, uh, uh, either frequently or at least quite a bit, at least a couple times a month perhaps, uh, I'm sure since, you know, they couldn't get whatever they would normally get, uh, at the actual store, if they go to the store, they would have, you know, use the website 
Uh, so, if anything, at least use that. Uh, there's a couple uh, Barnes Noble stores here in Iowa. Not too far where I live. There's one that's just a huge Barnes Noble building, as well as a Barnes Noble at uh, a mall. Though, you know, the, the, the mall isn't as big as the standalone Barnes & Noble, but it's a decent size. You know, it takes up a decent portion of a mall. And um, I haven't been to the just standard Barnes & Noble store in quite some time, but any time I would go there, it was pretty, you know, there's a decent amount of people. I would probably say anywhere from 60 to 70 percent capacity each time I went there when I was younger. Um, and at the mall, which I would go to more frequently, um, I would say about the same. You know, there was, there was always a good amount of people there. And then again, you know, I would, I would usually go when there won't be too many people at the mall. You know, uh, you find the time where there won't be too many people out and about. crowded or you're trying to walk but maybe somebody's walking really slow and there's a bunch of people so you can't really move around them or a lot of people are moving fast and you know like I, I would usually go when not too many people out uh, so perhaps if I went out at another time it'd be a lot you know maybe there'd be a lot more business but you know that that's something um, I think uh, is sort of worth noting, at least for the stores. Um, at least here in Iowa, people often go to Barnes and Noble. You know, they like physical books, so they'll go to an actual store. You know, some, you know sometimes they don't want to uh, buy a book online somewhere. Sometimes with shipping, some damage could be done to the book or something. Um, and so there might not be people who would really want to necessarily gravitate towards that. But then there are those who, you know, won't, not, won't care. You know, they want whatever. They want their book or, in this case, a movie. Um, now, I, uh, no, I didn't get this from Barnes & Noble, but um, this is one of my newer Criterion films I've got set um, and uh, you know I, I enjoyed this trilogy I watched it and it was a really good trilogy uh, it was fantastic um, I know I mentioned it when I got it about how this is something that I uh, it was like a newly uh, I guess acquired uh, film set that I had but you know I have seen this at Barnes and Noble, you know, on the website as well as in the store, but for whatever reason, I just never got it before. Uh, even though I heard about it, I just, for whatever reason, there was, I guess there was always something else I wanted, so I never really wanted to get it. Plus, also, it's a bit expensive, um, especially at Barnes and Noble. Um, I had some coupon codes for Criterion's website, and for, like, April, they uh, send out codes at the end of March and throughout, uh, like until the uh, end of April, you could get some movies. And I got this for a good percentage off. Plus, from that, plus it was also uh, they knocked off some stuff too, uh, like price-wise, like certain percentages off. So this was normally like uh, ninety or a hundred dollars, I believe, anywhere around there. percentage off of that uh, actually like got yeah, like seventy dollars off it was like seventy dollars I should say yeah seventy dollars so uh, this was a pretty good buy and though I will also say another thing with Barnes and Noble they uh, they're pretty expensive with these sort of films you know criterion are they're not necessarily a cheap they're not cheap films to get a new release is 
typically forty dollars for a new Blu-ray. Uh, and I do understand why that is. They put you know a good amount of special features or supplements, as they're called uh, here, and they also do what they can to make sure the sound and picture quality is the best it could possibly be for Blu-ray, as well as DVD, you know, if you buy the DVDs um, of a film. You know, they do what they can to make sure it's the best it could look and sound, and um, they've taken great care of those, of the films they've acquired, licensing, and at times have even done what they could to help restore films. Uh, old movies, yeah, like, uh, what be classic films, you know, some from filmmakers like Hitchcock, for instance, some of the negatives they have to work with to try and make them as good as they can be, sometimes are in the best of shape. So they do what they can and get people into, they do what they, anything they can to work and you know, make it look the like the best film make it possibly look like. Um, and it's, uh, I think that, uh, I think that can it'd be a bit understandable for why Criterion uh, prices the Blu-rays at $40 and $30 for the DVDs. I think it does, with all that in mind, it does actually kind of justify the price. Though Barnes & Noble, uh, they're a bit more expensive. I've seen new releases of Criterion films at Barnes & Noble that are like uh, $60. And I'm like, that's a ridiculous amount of money. Um, that, I'm like, I'm not going to pay for $60 for a movie. So usually at Barnes & Noble, I would, you know, I was going to get something like this. I'd wait for a 50% off sale or something. Then I would get that. Or any Criterion film, like uh, like this, Sid and Nancy, I'd get that for like a fifty percent off. Uh, or, right, well, something like that. So you know, fifty percent off. Probably of this sort of set. That way, it's you know you you really do get something that's worth fifty percent off, and not just something like a normal film. It would be like a at that point after a while, it'd be lower to like thirty dollars or something. A bit more reasonable, um, I would say. For something like on Criterion's website, for uh, for Barnes and Noble, not so much. It's uh, they just jack up the price, and it's. I think that's another reason why there are some who don't want to ever go to Barnes and Noble in any way, website or not. But for these fifty percent off sales for Criterion movies, I think it is worth it because you actually are able to actually um, you're able to get movies at an affordable price. That's actually not stupidly expensive like a, a you know a sixty dollars for Sid and Nancy no it would not be worth it I, like, I don't care how good the movie is I don't care how great it looks and everything that is not a very good investment um, you know maybe they've changed a bit but I do remember certain movies, like s single movies at times, for new releases that were sixty dollars. Um, now again, I, it's been a while since I've been into a store, um, so they may have laxed a bit since. Um, but I just remember, at, at some instances, looking at some of the movies, and I'm like, "That's not a that's not a movie that's worth that price." I don't care how good it is or whether regardless if I've seen it or not it's just like sixty dollars does not justify the price of something like Sid and Nancy um, it's 
Now, if this was sixty dollars off, well, or sixty dollars, uh, well, that'd be a real steal. You know, it'd be twenty dollars for free movies. Of course, something like that's you know, it's gonna be over a hundred dollars. Uh, but you know, it'd be probably like twenty dollars more than whatever Criterion would price it at. That's just how Barnes and Noble, at least in the past, has worked uh, from what I've seen. Um, though I have seen uh, on Barnes and Noble, they have have prices lowered. Uh, because of, I'm sure, because of all of the lockdown and people getting back to work and all that, uh, still they're trying to like keep it at a reasonable price right now. So this might is probably at a quite reasonable price. Um, uh, so you know, it's also been out for a good many years now. So. There should be no reason for uh, this to be a stupidly ridiculous price. Um, but I would say at least the website should be, they should have a sale there. Um, I believe Barnes & Noble stores here in Iowa are actually, uh, they are open. Uh, as far as I am aware, I haven't been out to the mall or out to Barnes & Noble for a while, um, so I can't totally say with certainty that, yes, they're open, and, you know, so they should have it. I would probably say per, it would be in the best interest of the stores that are open to have 50% off sales, as well as having a 50% off sale online. Um, Though people have brought up you know, shortages and stuff, again, I don't know any any of that. I know nothing. Uh, I've just seen people comment on that, and then they don't really offer any thing to back it up with. Um, I can only assume because of the lockdown, things have stopped, and that therefore you could conclude some of the Blu-rays and DVDs that were supposed to be released like in the coming months, will not be released and will be postponed or pushed back because of all that, because of all this stuff, the lockdown, and just set, set everything back. I guess, you know, that could be the main reason as to why people would say that, but they, I haven't seen that said, and I'm just sort of com a bit at a loss, really, um, as a result. I'm not sure. There's been no word of anything from Criterion to suggest anything, at least not as far as I know. Um, you know, no emails from them. If you want to like a list, like I am from Criterion, um, has been sent to me, or I haven't seen anyone, anybody else say such things that there was an email sent and this is what's in it. Um, now if anybody did get an email with that, alright, though I don't know why, you know, I didn't get it, you know, I would assume I would, you know, I'm still getting fairly, uh, regular emails, like, uh, every other day or so, you know, whenever their rotation of, uh, any announcements or anything of the sort, you know, I would think that would be something in an email that would be very prominent, and when you're reading through it, you know, that would be something of uh, note that would be of importance for anybody who has pre-ordered something that's new coming in the future, as well as any of their old DVDs and Blu-rays of they have of films that have been in the collection for so many years, <clears throat> if that they're that are in stock. And they have a licensing to that. It's just you know there there may be a low supply there. Um, there. There's you know I haven't seen any of that. Um, but I I just again I gave an example as to why uh, people might think that, but nobody has so far given any uh, real reason as to why. There could be some shortage of Blu-rays and DVDs, but 
I don't know. Uh, but I would think, you know, Barnes & Noble and Criterion, you know, it seems like that's a very popular thing every, you know, twice a year. These 50% off sales happen, and they're quite popular from what I, I'm, I'm able to see from people in Facebook groups and uh, others who enjoy Criterion films and talk about the releases and all that. From as far as I'm aware, you know, they're always popular. People love to talk about what they want to get or what they do get and talk about whether they love the release or they don't, and why they love it or don't like it, or love it at least, um, and all that. You know, there's uh, uh, people who are really love the Criterion Collection, uh, the films they release. People love the Criterion Collection, um, and when there's a 50% off sale at either their website or at Barnes & Noble, both the store and the website, people go all out. And, of course, there is no news about this. So I could also see how that could uh, get people fueled, fuel the idea. There will be no 50% uh, off sale, uh, at least not for July. Um, probably would be definitely for November, but July, who knows? And maybe that's a last-minute thing. Maybe there will be, but for whatever reason, as of now, on uh, you know June 26, there is absolutely nothing. Uh, if there will be any email sent out, maybe it'll be today. Maybe it'll be tomorrow. Maybe it'll be next week. I don't know. Uh, perhaps by the time this video is out and you see this, we'll all know the answer. You know, but, but it's it's just one of those uh, uh, situations. We don't know completely what's going on. If they don't do anything with the stores, even if there are stores that are open, um, uh, the websites, I believe, the website should have a 50% off sale. There should be a 50% off sale on Birds and Noble. It would be very smart to do that at least. That way, people who, for so many years, you know, Criterion sale at Barnes & Noble was 50% off. You know, you, you, it's an annual thing. You know, every year around this time, people usually get ready and look through the various films that they don't have in the, from the Criterion collection and look at those that they've wanted for some time and aim to get it. Um, it would be good to see um, they continue this tradition, at least online, even if you go to the store and you you can't get anything 50% off. Um, I, I think it should be at least offered in some way, you know. And, uh, and But, yeah. You know, that's my thoughts on the whole whether there will be 50% uh, off sale or not, you know, I don't know. You know, uh, obviously at this point, really, it doesn't seem like anybody knows. But perhaps there will be something. You know, I just do think it is smart for them, business-wise, to have such a sale um, in some capacity. You know, that way, people who love getting a couple of movies uh, from the Criterion Collection can, you know, get them. Uh, I just think that would be, uh, it would be good from a business standpoint. It would be smart. Um, but that's me. Um, and, you know, this does, you know, is really uh, an American thing. Perhaps Canada, I guess, maybe North American. Uh, but, you know, uh, you know, other parts of the world, like uh, people in Europe or Asia, Australia, um, uh, you know, 
various other continents and countries, it can't get these sales, really. It can't benefit from it. Um, uh, or maybe you can. I, I, I don't know. Uh, from the from viewers, from YouTubers, from who love movies and enjoy uh, films from the Criterion Collection, it doesn't seem like they really can jump in and uh, uh, partake in uh, sales like this. So, you know, I do think that's unfortunate, but I guess if, you know, this is a American company, you know, Barnes & Noble, or maybe if it's in North America, like only, I can see why, you know, like somebody from some England from England who loves Criterion, you know why they couldn't be able to. I can understand why they wouldn't be able to get it. I guess um, it's unfortunate, um, but you know because the Criterion Collection does have international fans. You know, you know it's not all located in America, or at least North America. Um, there are people who have. Uh, players that are region free uh, and that could play you know any movie from anywhere so uh, there's all that uh, added into this so for any international my international viewers you know if you like Criterion and they're the films they've released over their years you know I'm, I'm sorry that you can't partake in the, the Barnes & Noble uh, sales that happen every year. Uh, it does suck for people who enjoy the Criterion Collection, uh, but, you know, they can't, like, jump on, like, at least every, like, every single sale that goes on. Um, so, yeah. Uh, that's really all I have. I think it would be good for a sale of some sort, of some kind, to at least exist next month. At least through the website, uh, you know, Barnes Noble's website. Uh, yeah, but that's me. You know, that's just my opinion, of what I think of the situation. So, uh, you know, if you're not a Criterion Collection fan. Uh, Apologies, I guess, for all this, though, for this video. Though maybe you haven't seen, or, or my previous videos, all this matter. Or, then again, you might have already tuned out by this point. Or maybe you didn't even click on it at all because of the title. Uh, but anyway, uh, to all those who stuck around and watched the video, um, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you all have a great day, have a great weekend, and a great week, and I'll see you next time.